Good night, Vatos. Thanks again for tuning in to yet another video. Infamous coming at you live from the West Coast yet again. San Jose, California. So let's go ahead and get into it. Of course, we are talking Lowrider S and the Lowrider ST. And maybe you're in the market and you're wondering, hey, which one's which one fits me a little bit better? Off the bat, I'm just going to say, if you're looking for a little bit more of a well-rounded bike, uh, we're talking about wind protection, such as the, the frame-mounted fairing. And then we're talking about a little bit of cargo space, of course. You know, just to keep that, that overall style of a Lowrider S. This is why I really like this bike. It's got a little bit of both. And, you know, it, it doesn't break the bank, all right? $22,000 and 200 bucks. It's not that bad once you consider, you know, you have the frame-mounted fairing. You have the, the saddle bags. You have inverted forks. You have dual disc brakes. You have a 117. You have ABS standard. And you have uh, cruise control standard as well. So you do get a lot, um, you know, a lot for your money when it comes to the Lowrider ST. And maybe you're on a budget or maybe you don't need uh, long range. Maybe you don't need, you know, some of those benefits of a, of, of, a, of a frame mounted frame. Maybe you don't need cargo space and maybe you're just looking to save a couple bucks. But in reality, uh, I believe the Lowrider ST is still you know the better deal so that's up front but let's go ahead and take a look at both of these bikes of course the lowrider st uh it's got that new um st fairing a very good looking fairing you guys can check it out right here in the video i i think it looks great uh it provides good wind protection i just finished test riding these bikes of course not too long ago and i was you know i was impressed of of the wind protection from from this fairing uh the overall looks of it everything you know I'm, I'm very impressed with this bike it handles great it's got a 117 in it it's got it's got good suspension of course with the inverted forks good stopping power you also have you know dual disc brakes uh overall it's a well-rounded bike it's good for you know cd riding because it's under 750 pounds it's still it's about 720 it's not that heavy considering it's only about 40 pounds more heavier than the lowrider s so that's just you know my two cents all right, so now let's talk about the Lowrider S. More of a classic Harley. Of course, you have a full full rear fender, kind of like you do with the Lowrider ST. But of course, it's a little bit more toned down. It's a little bit more stylish, probably depending on who you are. Uh, you might prefer that uh, that speed screen that it's got that bikini fairing. It looks great. You know, a lot of people call this the uh, the uh, the Sons of Anarchy bike because it, it looks really it looks great. It's got that nice color scheme to it. I've been a huge fan of it ever since the FX DLS back in 2016. The bronze and black, man, the the color scheme, the the tank badging, everything about it, style wise, this is a beautiful bike, of course. And you've been seeing Honda trying to copy this color scheme with their 1100 Rebel. Uh, you've seen, uh, I believe, uh, Yamaha Bolt. They've been trying to copy this color scheme. And you also have uh, Indian. You know, they're also trying to cop copy this this color scheme. And then Harley even copied it and put it on their touring, on their baggers, and the, on the ST uh, lineup. Because it just looks so dang good. I really like what they did with the, with the bronze wheels and, and the, some of the black dot components. It's It truly is a really good good looking bike. So... Like I mentioned, this is more, more of a naked feel bike. It's the rawness feel of, of a of a motorcycle, of a Harley Davidson motorcycle. Minimal air air protection, uh, just you know overall feel torque. Of course, it's a little bit lighter, it's 40 pounds lighter, but it has the same powertrain, so it's going to feel a little bit sportier than the ST. And like I said, it's just everything Harley. This is basically what it is right here in the Lowrider S. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Lowrider S. Big fan. A lot of the same components. It's the exact same bike. All right, the only difference is, of course, like I mentioned, you have a frame-mounted fairing, saddlebags. It weighs 40 pounds less than the ST, uh, but everything else is identical. You have the same frame, the same powertrain, the 117. Uh, you have blacked-out components. You have inverted forks, dual disc brakes. A lot of stuff here to like. And obviously, you have that... Uh, that taller shock on the rear compared to, of course, the the 2021s. So, um, like I mentioned, you have the cruise control on this, and you have a full uh, speedo on this. Of course, you have a full speedo as far as the ST. It's more of a digital, a little bit of you know, a little bit of a of a sleek design. But uh, yes, this one you have the street bob uh, gauge on here. 
but uh, pretty much like I mentioned both of these bikes are identical uh, as far as the powertrain the, the stopping power of course this is going to be a little bit more responsive but only because it's 40 pounds lighter it's not a huge uh, you know it's not a huge difference between both of these bikes except for of course the price difference which is only three thousand bucks you get the fairing the saddlebags uh, and you also get of course the ABS and I'm saying 3000 because I'm, I'm I'm putting that price in there but uh, without the ABS on the lowrider S the difference is about four thousand dollars so you know people feel differently about ABS uh, I believe it was a mistake for them to remove it and then of course keep that same price uh, you know technically this sh there should be under it should be seventeen thousand bucks because the ABS option on this is about 950 so this should be seventeen thousand dollar bike but hey that's harley davidson so let's go ahead and compare them side by side let's look at what we have here both beautiful bikes like i said they both feel the same they have mid controls they have uh you know they, they have risers i believe the 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 risers on the lowrider is it's a little bit taller uh that's what i believe i believe it's about maybe half an inch to an inch taller than the st I might be wrong uh, i didn't have a measuring tape with me but from my own feel it did feel like uh it was just slightly taller than the uh, than the st so both same color options uh you have the white sand pearl and then you have the vivid black both rider positions are upright like i said uh it's got the risers and then it's got the moto style bar so you're not dragged over over the fuel tank or anything like that it's a very comfortable ride so you have the mid controls on both of them so they both feel upright all right moving on down to the storage of course you have saddlebags on the lowrider st it's not it's not a high capacity storage storage it's not high it's not high capacity at all it's very small but you know what it is something and the way these uh these saddlebags open they do open vertically so you do lose a little bit more of storage capacity uh, you know, because of the design, but I really believe these saddlebags look really nice. Uh, and then, of course, wind protection or the fairing. You have a frame-mounted fairing on the ST, which is phenomenal. Uh, you have a speed screen on the uh, Lowrider S, but that's more of a style. Um, you know, that's more of a style thing. It's not really for for uh, wind protection at all because there isn't any. So that, yeah, I guess those are the uh, the key differences between both of these bikes. But um, you know. In my opinion, like I mentioned, I believe the ST is still, you know, the better deal. Only because, of course, these saddlebags used to cost about 3000 bucks up, up until recently when Harley released uh, uh, the Sport Glides separately. So now you don't have to buy them in parts. You could just buy them uh, all together with the, the outer shell, the inner shell, and the mounting system before you had to buy this in parts and then add it up to you know potentially three thousand bucks and then of course you also have the frame mounted fairing that could also cost you about you know anywhere between two thousand to three thousand in parts and then of course you have to paint these you got to mount them um that's why i'm i say that's why i keep on saying that the uh, the st is the uh, is the better deal but you guys let me know in the comments what do you guys think like i mentioned it just depends on what you want out of your out of your bike or out of your style if you want more of an outlaw club style look to it of course with maybe a quarter fairing then then of course you would lean towards the fx lrs where you could probably get a crater fairing you could get a rwd fairing you could get a, um, a fxrt fairing you could get pretty much whatever you want uh, memphis shade uh you know whatever they they have you could be cafe gauntlet uh, you get the Sportster fairing on this. So many fairing options. Of course, it just depends on your style, and uh, you know you'll still keep that lightness of of the uh, of the Lowrider S. Or you could also go, of course, Leather Pros, and Leather Pros are going to set you about maybe you know seven to nine hundred bucks with the fairing. So that's only about a thousand five hundred bucks, depending on what you want to do. I don't want to get into the mods because, of course, the video is going to be that much longer but overall this as a blank can canvas as a you know as a as a foundation for any build this is the perfect bike uh for for you this is absolutely a perfect build you have a 28 degree rake like i said a 117 a lot of potential in this bike 
and you could build it out to however you want it but if you want full wind protection out of the box of course and then you want the warranties you want that that quality of of harley that fit and finish you don't want to worry about painting it painting uh, uh the saddle bags or painting the the fairing a different color or you know right you know potentially if you're not doing it yourself then you might start looking at st price you know considering how much uh, these dealers will will charge you to uh, to to uh, install these parts and then of course you also have uh, you know uh, the labor and all that other stuff that's gonna add up to the price so you guys let me know in the comments what do you think where do you guys stand lowrider st 2200 or are you leaning towards the fx lrs where it's 18200 but of course you don't have ebs and you don't have saddlebacks you don't have a fairing but you do get still a great overall uh bike from harley so thanks for tuning in to yet another video don't believe everything you read life's risk get out there and ride later <laughs>